at uh, 701 a.m. Uh, the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office received a call uh, some type of shooting here on Beauregard Street in the Sangaree community in Berkeley County. Uh, when deputies arrived, uh, they found numerous shell casings out in the road. Uh, they did a pr protective sweep of the residence here and found one person deceased inside. Uh, at the present time, uh, we have uh, a numerous uh, individuals uh, that we've detained that uh, are, are potential persons of interest in this in this situation here. This is very fluid. We've got crime scene that's just getting on the scene and, and going through uh, the scene to try to piece together what happened. Uh, we got several calls from residents that they heard some shots here on Beauregard Street. And uh, right now you can see I have the canine units that are searching the area. Um, we don't believe at this point we have an active situation here in Sangaree. Um, you can tell we have numerous deputies out here right now. Um, again, this, this situation is that uh, there was early this morning at 7.01, uh, someone reported shots. And when we arrived, we found uh, an individual deceased. That are confirmed that there's a suspect on the loose right now? Well, we don't believe there's a suspect on the loose. We have several individuals that we've detained at the sheriff's office that we're uh, questioning. Um, again, this is bits and pieces of information that, that I'm being told as, as this investigation is progressing. Y'all understand it's, it's a very fast moving fluid situation. So I wanted to give you as much information as I could. We don't believe we have some active uh, guy running around here shooting anyone. How many suspects are you? Are we? Did you say uh, we're looking at at, uh, at two right now uh, that we believe uh, may have been involved, but there's several other people that we've detained that we're questioning. That as a result of, of the phone calls and information we've got from. Did the they public. know the victims? Or? We don't. I don't. I don't know that yet. I haven't uh, been given that information. Do you believe the person was shot? Uh, the was never in the home at all, shot inside the home or? No, it appears, uh -huh. uh, and, and this is uh, really premature at, at this moment, but it appears the person was, uh, may have been shot outside and ran into the house and uh, and, and, and was deceased. Any indication was it like a drive-by type shooting or did they get out of the car? I don't know yet. We're, we're looking at video from um, area residents. Um, I will tell you that we've been to this particular house 15 times. Um, for numerous complaints about drugs. We've made uh, several arrests from this residence as it relates to drug activity. We've gotten complaints from residents and, and people in the community about this particular house, and we have been here constantly. What, what's the time frame 15 times between this year? Say, uh, it's this year, yeah. Do we know what kind of firearm was in this house? I don't have that information. Again, we just we're able to get into the residence and um, with the crime scene uh, technician. So they'll be putting all that together and, and briefing me. You know, it's going to take several hours and I'll be happy to update you again. Uh, but I want the residents to know that um, this is a fluid situation. Uh, we have several people detained that we believe are suspects. So there's not someone randomly running through uh, Sangaree shooting at people. So. Uh, that's the most important thing I wanted to wanted to say this morning. Are some of those suspects people that have been previously arrested? I don't know. It, there's a handful of people we have uh, at the present time at the sheriff's office that we're interviewing. Okay. And, and again, I'll give you all an update just as quick as I can. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. As you guys just heard, that was Sheriff Dwayne Lewis uh, giving an update about the scene. Sounds like one person is dead inside the home. They're still trying to figure out um, who might have done it. They have several suspects in custody. Um, they, uh, they say that um, they've been to this house about 15 times this year for some drug-related, complaint-related things um, coming out. So 
where he said they're going to give us an update in a little bit. Um, right now, we know that they have two suspects in custody. They're not exactly sure what firearm was used. Right now, they're going through the uh, preliminary part of the investigation, collecting shell casings, going through. And they said they just got into the house. But what we know is one person dead out here. We're on Beauregard Road and Long Street. This is the intersection out here in Sangaree. We're going to bring you more updates coming up on our midday show. And uh, hopefully, we're going to hear from the sheriff's office in a few hours as this investigation continues.